Hey, what's up, guys? Today's video is on a pretty rare um, vintage blaster made in '97. It's called the Attack. Yep, I've got this off Maverick from Nerf Revolution, and uh, this blaster is actually made by a company called uh, Yes Entertainment Corp, made in China in 1997. Radical Air Weapons, the Attack. Um, I'm pretty sure that uh, there are other blasters under the Radical Air Weapons um, line, like uh, the Force that is purple and grey. Uh, I believe that Make It Go actually has one. I uh, wonder if we'll ever do a video review. Hit, hit, Make It Go. <laughs> but anyway, uh, just a quick v review on this blaster. It's a, uh, it's pretty dusty because it's old, but I don't blame Maverick for this. Um, I didn't clean that myself. It features a uh, flip-up sight, like so. And uh, it fires off um, balls. I don't even dare to call it foam. It's just really sponged. It's the exact same sponge that you would find um, on microphones or on your earphones or headphones and um, they load into little shells like this right so you basically squeeze the entire thing inside like so right so these are the uh, shells loaded with the yeah the <laughs> sponge balls so I have about three Maverick actually uh, included three which is kind of sweet cool Thank you, Maverick. And uh, yeah, basically you load all three inside, and then this is the clip itself. It looks like that. So you basically let me see. I don't really have that many hands, so I'm just gonna put this down for a short while. You load it in like so. Uh, please know that. Uh, please understand that this is actually really old, so the spring is not as um, you know the, the spring tension isn't what it used to be. So basically, what you do is just uh, push it down. As you can see, it kind of gets stuck like that and it's supposed to be <laughs> supposed to come up oh well anyway so you basically load um, all the shells like so into the clip yep alright put that aside before I actually give you a firing demo this is what the priming mechanism looks like you basically pull back and uh, this this um, priming bar there's an o-ring here to seal up the uh, the air release area goes back this is when uh, a little piece over here as you can tell it comes up like that which pushes the, uh, the shell out and then this would basically force the sponge ball to the front of the blaster and when you squeeze the trigger uh, it fires off um, yeah just the foam ball leaving the shell around here and then when you pull it up eject the shell again and rinse and repeat Alright, um, you pump the blaster this way, you actually grab onto the back handle and you pump it up like that. So uh, it goes up to about 8 pumps before the OPRB kicks in. As you can hear now. Yep, and then the trigger is over here so you pull it and then uh, the air release is pretty sick. Like that. <laughs> yep, so I'm going to give you a quick firing demo first before I continue on. So what you do is you have to make sure that you pull the priming bar back first so that this is not in the way. Then you get this thing. As you can tell there's a slot over here. This goes in the bottom area like so. Like that. So you just push it in and then you close it up. Once you do so, you'll see that the sponge ball is at the front of the blaster now. So uh, pump it up eight times and I'm going to fire it off randomly. Okay, eight, oh, sorry, nine. Fire off. Like that. Okay, now watch the uh, priming mechanism. Okay, the shell will eject when I pull it up. So there's nothing over here. As it goes up, the shell comes up, like so. The next shell comes into line, and as I push it to the front, uh, watch the uh, sponge ball actually go forward. Like that. Right, so. Okay, I'll just show it to you this way. One, two, three. Yep, uh, thing doesn't really fly that fantastic. So release another shell. And I'm just gonna take out the. Uh, how you remove it is basically just uh, look for this slot area here. Uh, give it a nice press and pull out the whole clip. All right. So um, about the air release. Um, basically the air release is upwards. The air release hole is about here. The output hole. Uh, I don't know if you can tell from the camera angle, but uh, yeah, that's where it is. And. Um, if I were to mod it, I would have to cut off that part and, and uh, attach a barrel this way in on the bottom part, uh, which makes this area a bit uh, wasted. 
I don't even know where the tag location is. I believe that it might be somewhere about maybe here or maybe even underneath. I'm not so sure. Uh, because I haven't opened this guy up, I don't even think I will ever open it up. I'm not so sure. But uh, now I'm going to give you a demonstration on uh, the air release. Uh, try and give you a you know an estimation of how it sounds like and what it looks like or something. And uh, because of the front barrel over here, all the recesses and not and uh, the notches, uh, it makes me it leads me to believe that there's actually an attachment for the front. Uh, however, I don't think uh, anyone has a picture of it. Uh, I've not seen it online. But anyway, here goes uh, eight pumps, and I'll be covering this part. Okay, and uh, check out the air release. Is however, there is a slight leak, I believe. Like if I were to pump it up and I leave it alone for a while. Uh, I think the air pressure starts to leak up from somewhere. I'm not able to tell. Um, yeah, but uh, about this point of time, uh, I think maybe air has leaked to quite a substantial amount, as you can tell. Yep. So anyway, um, yeah. Downside to this blaster, I feel that okay. Although the back handle is nice and comfy, the front handle is way too small, and um, I keep getting myself nicked up here because I keep rubbing on the underside of. Uh, the seam line over here and uh, it cuts me sometimes yep so I have to really take note I might have to cover it up with some tape or something like that and uh, the back handle feels a bit flimsy as you can see it's wobbling uh, that's because it is the pump handle itself I don't really like that so if I were to mod it I might try and make uh, find a way to make it a bit more sturdy yep uh, I also uh, although I think that um, this this whole primary mechanism thing is a pretty cool idea, I don't think it's uh, very practical because uh, not only do you have to pump it up eight times, you still have to do this once before you fire, and I don't quite like that. So yeah, but anyway, this is a vintage blaster. I'm pretty sure things have improved by now. Um, yeah, so this is the attack, and uh, shout out to Maverick from Nerf Revolution uh, for this blaster. Thank you. This is um, a rare acquisition and I'm really happy with it. Uh, thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, uh, <coughs> you can leave a comment or PM me or something. I will uh, try my best to answer you. Although I don't really know much about this blaster. I haven't really done my research. Just know that it's part of the RAW series, the Radical Air Weapon series. Yep, that's it. Peace.